Hi friends, welcome back to our channel. Today in this video, let's see how we can give rewards to our loyal customers in the form of attractive gifts and discount offers in order 15 point of sale. So this can be done uh, by creating and configuring loyalty programs. So here, when you open one loyalty program, you can see here we can define how many loyalty points are given to customer by sold currency. That is, uh, per currency spent, we can define a point. Suppose if a customer uh, has purchased for 500, then that 500 can be multiplied with this to get a uh, total 5,000. Like this way, we can set a uh, currency point per currency spent. And then we can add rewards for the customers here. Uh, like in the form of gifts, that is free products or discounts. So these rewards are given to customers based on the loyalty points they have accrued. So here we have already added a uh, reward, free pen. Reward type is free product. And you can find, uh, we have set a reward cost. So this will be the cost of getting the reward. So this pie will be reduced from their loyalty point. The loyalty point they have already accrued. And we can also define some minimum points here. That is the minimum point the customer must have to qualify for this reward. And you can see uh, we've added a free product, simple pen. This one is a gift product. We can also add a reward in the form of discount. So we will discuss about this in later in this video. So now let's see how we can give uh, this free product to a customer. Before that, uh, here we have to define some point rules. So, some loyalty points are given, uh, given to customer for some specific products or product categories. Like if customer purchases a particular product or product under a category, uh, which is defined here, uh, then points are given. So here we can see we have uh, defined a rule. Uh, were added a filter like product name contains share. So we already have six records and find them here. So if a customer purchases any of these products, then 20 points will be given per unit and 10 points uh, will be given per currency spent. So let me save the loyalty program and let's come back to dashboard. And here we have our point of sale shop. So let's open the settings and here we have to add the loyalty program that we have defined. So yeah, I've already set the program. Now let's start our session. Let's set an opening cache control. So here you can see our category chairs and you can find the products. So choose a customer from here. So here we can find a customer with zero loyalty point. So let me set him right here. Then if he orders conference share aluminum. You can see the points accurate as 729. So let's take the calculator and see how this is calculated. So here, the total amount is 35.46. So inside the program, we have defined points per currency spent uh, is 10. So 35.46 into 10, that gives 354.6. And then again, we have defined uh, a rule for products uh, that contains mean chair. So there also we have defined currency uh, point per currency spend as 10. So again, 35.46 into 10, it's uh, 354.2. 
so now we can see this double so so now let's multiply this with 2 because before we have 354.6 so now it is 709.2 then we have defined inside the rule that per unit uh, purchased 20 so plus 20 because uh, the total quantity ordered by the customer is 1. So 1 into 20, it's 20. So it gives 729.2. And you can see, if you round this, you get 729. So you can see the total points acquired by the customer is 729. Then here we can find a reward button to give reward to our customer. So if you try to click on this, you can see that there are no rewards available for this customer as a part of loyalty program because inside the reward lines we have defined customer need to have some minimum points so you can see that customer only have zero points uh, and these points were acquired in this order so it will be reflected only after payment so let's see how it's done like Close the payment, validate it. Now, again, if you choose that customer, here you can see now uh, the point occurred is 729. Now, if you set the customer, here we can see that reward uh, button color changed to green. Then we can add a product. Now here when you click on this reward, here we can see automatically a reward is added in the order line. That is free product. Here you can see it's one quantity. And you can see from uh, the points won by the customer, five is detected because the reward cost for this uh, product is five. So now the total point is 1453. Now let's close our session. Let's keep them. Let's keep the session open. And here let's add a new reward line that is used to give discount. Discount 15 percentage, that's 25 percentage. And then reward cost as 15. Then minimum points as 80. So here I'm going to give a discount. We choose a discount product. Then you can apply discount as percentage or fixed amount. Then set it as 25 percentage. Uh, on order you can also give on cheapest order or on specific product so I'm giving it for a specific product customizable desk all variants then we can also set a maximum discount so beyond that discount cannot be given you can also set zero if there is no limit. Now we can save this. Now let's continue selling and here. Here we have a product customizable desk. Um, so we choose a varied aluminum black. Now if we set a customer.
So here we can see the loyalty points given uh, to the customer. And you can see the reward button change to green color. Now when you click on this, here we can see uh, for this customer, there are two rewards. One is a free pen and other one is discount 25 percentage. So we can ch choose any of them. If I choose discount 25 percentage, you can see 180.09, which is 25 percentage of this total amount is deducted from it. And now we can make the payment. So here we can see in this side the receipt that discount is shown. That is how much amount is reduced, is deducted from total amount. And when you check the orders from back end, you can find here the discount line along with the product. Then if another customer came and he purchased his conference chair and now when you click on this reward, you can see that free pen product is only available uh, because we have set that reward specifically for a product customizable desk. So it will only be available for the customers purchasing that product. So now if you add on the customizable desk, here we can see again that our reward line is shown. So here we can see the discount, then single pen. Now the amount is zero because we are giving it for free. You can see the subtotal. So the central idea of this uh, loyalty program is to retain the customers and make them intelligent in bulky purchases. So that's all for this video. And if you have any doubts related to this, you can add your comments below.